Inquisition DLC moves away from last gen, spoils of the Konari, and Mage Koa release date. Let's break down the latest Bioware news. Bioware revealed their save importer for last gen consoles moving into current gen, so if you're interested in moving from PlayStation 3 or Xbox 360 over to the PS4 or Xbone, you can do so through their new save game tool. Instructions are available on their blog post on how to copy and move your saves. However, the announcement comes with a caveat, end quote, all future Dragon Age Inquisition DLC will be available on PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One only. While this is extremely discouraging for those who bought their copy of Dragon Age Inquisition, the last gen consoles definitely struggled in representing the same graphic quality and performance that current gen titles are capable of. If you are interested in switching over to a newer console or PC, you can use Bioware Save Importer to upgrade. Also, for those who don't want to spend a lot of money in grabbing a new console or just a new copy of Inquisition, on July 15th, Amazon is having a massive Prime Day that is reportedly going to trump Black Friday deals. Inquisition is currently $30 on Amazon and most likely will go lower. Consoles may also join the Prime Day deals. As far as the DLC is concerned, there is a new add-on pack at least, as Spoils of the Canary releases today. It's 5 quid or 5 Murica dollars. You get two sets of unique armor, including the airshock armor that you saw in Dragon Age 2, new schematics to create the pieces for your Inquisitor or companions, a new armored war mount, and new Canary throne. If you got the Spoils of the Avar DLC pack last time, it's just like that but Canary themed. Warning, however, as the armor does not translate well on companions. As of this video, Varric's chest hair is missing from the armor. Certain pieces are not tintable. Also, Solas looks awful with this armor, just saying. Moving on. As I mentioned in my last video, Dragon Age Mage Killer's comic will be the first in the Dragon Age universe to directly address Tevinter, with the Mage Killer himself, Marius, and the estranged Navaran noble Tessa Forsythia. Now, there's an actual confirmation for the release date. Dragon Age Mage Killer issue number one will be on sale December 16 at $3.99, with a final order cut off for retailers on November 23rd. Something I also did not mention in the original video is that Marius actually has been introduced to Dragon Age fans before, in a really noticeable Mage Killer kind of way. In the short story Paying the Ferryman by Bioware writer Joanna Berry, Readers learn that Calpurnia, who led the Venatory Mages for the Elder One, no spoilers here, was actually in a sort of relationship with Marius. You can read the actual short story on the Bywart blog, which showcases Marius' personality and background. Although Marius' appearance and description in the short story is brief, you can get to know Marius a little before Mage Killer drops this December. That's all for now, thanks for watching. All links related to both Bioware's save importer as well as Mage Killer's press release, oh and also spoils of the Canari, are located in the description. Until next time, take care, fan hara and unsaw.